welcome back to my channel so in today's video I'm going to be doing this routine right here as you guys can see by the title of the video it is my flawless face routine because that's what it is you guys and you guys will be shook on all these products I kid you not you guys like all these products here that I am mentioning today are my true and true my honestly my holy grails to be honest like this is what I do to get that perfect canvas what I've been doing lately all the techniques everything perfect flawless canvas that you guys see right now no filter whatsoever I just have to throw it out there um, but anyways please make sure to like the video if you guys like the tutorial also don't forget to follow all my social medias I will have them linked down below or up here for you guys but yeah if you guys want to see how I created this flawless canvas then please continue watching all right so as y'all can tell by the title a lot of you guys wanted to know my face routine and I am going to be doing my foundation routine my base routine I also did do my eyelids off camera and also like shaped my brows my eyebrow tutorial is coming very soon so please stay tuned for that sorry in advance for my dry ass skin right now but I'm just gonna start the first product that I'm gonna show you guys is this one by one size this is the secure the blur primer and I mean it says what it says secure the blur so I pretty much like to apply this on my t-zone just because I do like the blur effect that it gives my t-zone I really do like that and then also on my forehead you want it there I don't really do a lot with my forehead because I feel like my forehead is like I don't really like have any scars there or anything like that I feel like my forehead is fine but yeah I love 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 that primer for me and then also these three primers I've been really loving these three right here this one's from Ciate elf and lys I don't know which one to use because they all do kind of like the same thing let me go back with the jelly one this one was like my favorite primer for a really long time like forever so I'm just gonna go back again with this also the NYX one is really amazing too that one's like so freaking good the do me up primer if you guys haven't like heard about it you guys need to go get it it's so so good like see how nice and hydrated my skin looks now it just looks like glowy i zoomed you guys a little bit more because i want you guys to see the full effect so now what i'm gonna do is take my glow recipe watermelon ultra mist and i'm just gonna literally drench my face in this this is really what just gives my skin that like ugh really like glowy from within it's just like it looks healthy too and that's what I want in my skin and when I have my makeup on you know um I don't want it to look dry whatsoever and you guys will be so surprised I have not been wearing foundation in so long but what I've been applying is this Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood flawless filter it is so bomb you guys like you guys need this in your kit if you are thinking about getting it like I definitely recommend it it's so good at first I was very like skeptical because I was like if it's not a foundation like then what is it you know I was kind of like hmm should I get it but now that I already like tried it and I love it I just like I can't get enough of it it makes my skin look so good so glowy so flawless airbrushed literally it's like a filter a filter in a bottle <laughs> but it's so good and you guys can see like it's such a great match for me too like I said it's not a foundation it's just like a tint if that makes sense I've been applying it with this brush this is the 151 brush wow you guys like wow this brush literally is magic like look at that like what it's magic this brush just blends it out so flawlessly there's like nothing else that I want to like apply it with but yeah it's like Wallace, I do want to say that this brush does shed a little bit, so watch out for that. I feel like with this, I can just get out the door and I will look so good no matter what. I don't know about you guys, but I like to stare at my face a little bit or my skin. See if I have any like crevices or something that I'm not liking, I will like try to fix it. But this is pretty much it for that. I 
do apply a little amount of it. A little bit goes a long way with this. So I really love this thing right here. It's so freaking good. So the next thing that I'm going to do is obviously cover any, you know, redness or any darkness, which I am going to be taking my Born This Way multi-use sculpting concealer and I love the shade cookie it's like such a great match for my skin um but what I do is I take this down here I know it looks like all but I'm not re-dipping you guys just saying and then I take a little bit here and then on my chin and then I'm not re-dipping but I'm taking some from like the entrance of the bottle and I'm just gonna do that I do like to add more coverage but I'm not like going crazy you know but that's pretty much it right here this is what I do now I'm just gonna take my sponge I'm gonna put a little bit of the glow mist and then all I'm gonna do is blend 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 what this does is it just covers any redness, any discoloration, any darkness. I know that I have a lot of like pimple marks and it just covers that. And then I also like to look and blend this area. Also, I did not color correct because my dumb ass forgot and it was right in front of me, you guys. Why am I always like this? I've been freaking loving the Makeup Forever Greatness Reducer. It's so bomb. Like, I apply this around my mouth and it really reduces the grayness um, around it. Like, I definitely recommend this primer from Makeup Forever. I will link it down below. I don't know why I didn't use it today, honestly. Like, I'm, I'm really dumb sometimes. Like, I feel like I'm not even a beauty guru when I do these kinds of mistakes. I was gonna apply it, but like I said, I forgot, so I'm so sorry about that. But I feel like you guys already saw me using it, and it's really, really good. It does reduce the grayness. When it's dark, I do seem to get a little grayness around my mouth, so uh, I think that really, really helps out. So now I'm gonna blend the forehead. So I don't really like do a lot with my forehead, like I said. I don't think I need a lot up there, but I do, you know balance it with the rest of my face and I do also blend it down my neck make sure you also blend down here on your jawline sometimes we forget to blend there and it's not cute when you don't so there we have the base it looks like I have a full coverage face or a full coverage base but I don't you guys saw what I applied I didn't apply as much y'all saw everything so now i'm gonna do my concealer for concealer i feel like you guys already know what i've been loving because i always like use them in my tutorials but i've been loving the kylie cosmetics skin concealers i have the shade sesame maple and peanut um i use peanut to conceal let me conceal real quick right here down here you also put some here and that's it yeah because you know i have the grayness so this helps out a little bit and what i do is just blend it out and i do let this dry for a bit oh, my skin is so dry i cannot wait when this is over and now i'm going to be taking the shade maple and what i'm going to do is pretty much apply this here does that look a little too dark? I'm going to take a different one. This is the Rare Beauty Concealer. And I'm going to take some right here and up here. I know that that was under my nose for her. And I am going to let that dry for a bit because I do like the full coverage it gives when it dries down. So now that we have that dried down, I'm going to start to blend. So I'm just going to kind of push this in here and kind of drag it out like that because it really does highlight really good under your eye. Like look at that. Instant highlight. And then I'm just going to blend this right here. Like look, that just looks lifted. I love that. And then I'm just going to do the same thing here. And as you guys can see, I am doing like very up and down motions. Like, look at that. That just looks lifted. I always like to check on my mirror. You guys need to own a mirror. Like, like a hand mirror, any hand mirror. Like, on one, by one. I'll link one down below because those are just so helpful when it comes to doing your face makeup. So now, moving on to cream contour. I, you guys know that I'm, I'm all about the cream contour. Like, I cannot do my makeup and not do cream contour. Like, that's just a staple for me. I've always loved it. I've always done cream contour. It's like... A must for me so yeah just letting y'all know i know that a lot of people don't do a lot of cream contouring but i do put it this way 
to me it's the full glam full beat or no makeup if that makes sense that's me that is my personal opinion it's what i stand for it's it's me you know like i like a full beat and if it's not full beat then i'm not gonna wear it. i'm not gonna wear makeup you know but i've been really loving this right here from maybelline it's the super stick as you guys can see i do not use it for foundation i use it for cream contouring i use the shade warm coconut i'm already done like i need a new one maybelline miss maybelline i need one but um i'm trying to use all of it you know like this is how much i love this product like i am all the way down to like almost nothing because i use it religiously and i love it like look at this oh isn't it pretty yeah, i put a little too much i got a little too excited right there but yeah look how flawless it looks after it looks so good and now i'm just gonna do this i used to just dry it on but since i like have none anymore i'm just gonna take it from just my brush and start all right so you guys know that i love my cream blushes i've been loving it like i'm all about it i love it so pretty much that i'm gonna show you guys four cream blushes that i cannot live without i've been on them like crazy they're these four right here on my hand the elf one lys or beauty and cover girl two of these are very affordable and two of them are you know on the pricier side but you guys need them in your life like let me know if you guys want me to do like a video doing like favorite cream blush products or anything like that i would love to do one but i don't know what to wear i don't know what to use because they're all so good but i think i'm gonna go in with my true old goody one like this is my og or holy grail as beauty gurus used to say this is the covergirl clean fresh cream blush if you guys been watching my videos for like i would say like about a year now you guys know that i love love this cream blush right here from covergirl they are so pigmented so creamy so easy to work with and i like to apply a dot like that and then i like to kind of disperse disperse it all around <laughs> then y'all know that i love applying it with my favorite brush right here which is the pretty girl brushes like love it so freaking much this brand is a african-american owned brand it's so good i love it i love supporting brands like this as well as lys it's also black owned so i like i'm all for it and then i'm also doing it on my chin putting a little bit on my chin putting a little bit on my nose because you know that's a cute that's cute right there but look at that like isn't that gorgeous i'm obsessed i'm obsessed but don't worry we are going to do a little trick that i'm gonna show you guys but i am gonna do my nose contour or cream contour my nose oh my god and i like to blend it out with this hourglass brush you guys i got it in a pr i'm so lucky i got it in a pr because these brushes are pretty expensive but they are so they're also vegan and yeah like look at that look how effortlessly they just blend out everything mm -hmm. that's what i'm talking about skin and then now i'm gonna go in with my beauty blender and i'm just going to blend 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 where i feel like i need a little bit more of blending <laughs> Look at that. That's good, right? And then I'm also gonna blend down here. And now I'm just gonna blend. I just like to kind of like marinate everything together. I feel like it's just a nice way to get everything nice and blended. Your skin just looks more flawless, more airbrushed. That's pretty much it for my base, you guys. Um, obviously, I'm gonna bake or set everything. You guys, I've been loving this setting powder. Like, you guys need it. I'm telling you right now, you guys need to invest on this powder right here. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder, the shade number two. I don't know if they have more shades, but I really hope they, you know, come out with more because I honestly feel like there's not enough of shades. I think they have like three or four shades of this, which is unacceptable, but it's such a beautiful just the finish of it it's so finely milled i don't know what it is it's flawless under your eye like i definitely recommend this you guys so i really hope they do come out with more shades i love taking it with my sephora brush this is the pro contour 79 brush but what i do is make sure that i have no creases under my eye like this and also no creases right here because you know we do be eating some and then i set it really quick and look at this flawless finish you guys 
Okay, that's not flawless enough. I don't know what is. And you guys need this powder in your life. I'm telling you guys, need it. You guys really do need it. And then we'll do the other side. Blend it, blend it, blend it, blend it, blend it. And then I'm gonna set, 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 set. And then I am just gonna take a little bit and I do set it everywhere, like everywhere. Look at that airbrush finish. I do like to set it right here. Don't like to use a lot. It's been really hard for me to learn the way like less is more, if that makes sense. Because I've always been, you know, that glam girl. Like I love full coverage or nothing, you know. But when it comes to powders, I really am trying to go a little bit more less with them. So yeah, I'm only going to be baking underneath my eyes because I feel like just, you know, I should just be baking underneath where I crease the most. So what I'm going to do is take my favorite loose powder from Laura Mercier. This is like... Like my all-time favorite loose powder from them it is in the shade honey you guys need this shade right here if you know you're on my skin tone and you think the translucent powder is a little too bright or a little too white for you this is gonna be your best friend if you're around like my skin tone I am a like NC 45 I'm a Aruba and NARS in the NARS foundation or even Valencia 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 yeah I'm pretty tan so yeah, I love, love this powder right here from Le Mercier, the translucent honey. You guys need this one. So yeah, I'm just gonna let that sit for a bit. I did not set like my forehead or anything because I feel like I don't need it there anymore. I used to be like very, like I said, oh my god, I need to set everywhere with this translucent powder, but you really don't. All you have to do is set where you crease. Like for me, I crease so much under my eyes like you guys have no idea like maybe applying more is going to like not make it crease I know that because I know my skin and I also crease on my smile line and of course like around my nose that's where I crease the most so that's where I'm going to be applying the translucent powder but I don't crease on my forehead I don't crease around my face or like my jawline or anything like that so I try to stay away from the translucent powder there if that makes sense you guys might think that I go a little more more full coverage, but I do. I love setting my face with the Makeup Forever uh, Matte Velvet Skin Powder. This is one of my favorite powders to set my face. I just like to apply this where I am going to add the bronzer. Just another layer. And as you guys can see, I don't go crazy with it. I just... You know brush it like this because I don't like when my face is still kind of wet if that makes sense from the product so I always try to add something else on top before I go with like my bronzer and my blush I feel like if I don't do that my bronzer or and my blush will get patchy and we don't want that so yeah you guys now that we have that good to go we don't have any wetness I'm gonna go ahead and bronze. I'm gonna show you guys four types of bronzers that I'm just obsessed with. I have not been like putting them down anywhere. Like these are my babies right here. So um, these are right here. I have the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Bronzer, the Fenty uh, Beauty Sun Stalker Bronzer, the Hula Bronzer in the shade Carmel, and then the Balm Bronzilla. Which one to use? Oh my god. It's gonna be a hard one. But I think I'm gonna give it to my Fenty Beauty Bronzer. I haven't used this in a long time, so I'm just gonna take it. I love taking this shade right here, which is Bayesian Gal. This is right here. But all I'm gonna do is start to bronze. And what I'm gonna do is also bronze my forehead. These bronzers are everything. This one especially just makes your face look so much like so amazing and I like to do circular motions it's the best technique I can give you guys when you're applying your bronzer and also do not forget your neck bring it down your neck always that's bronzing for me so now I'm gonna contour and I'm gonna contour with the hula bronzer from benefit you guys might think that's just crazy but I love the way it looks but yeah especially if I'm doing flash photography pictures like right now, I know I am. I'm gonna take some pictures for the gram, but I love doing this. It just gives me like that extra warmth that I want and everything just like goes with everything, if that makes sense. That's it right here. So now I'm just gonna get rid of the powder that we have going on. It's not a lot, but it's 
So we're almost done. Just gonna contour my nose. So now that we're done with that, very easy. You guys know the drill. I do like uh, powder blushes. I have so many favorite ones that this video will never end. So what I'm gonna use today is the Alamar Cosmetics. It's this Alamar Color It Blush Trio in the shade Tan. You guys, this packaging is everything. So I'm just gonna use it. This is my first time using Alamar Cosmetics ever, but I've heard really great things about them. So I'm gonna be taking these two shades and I'm gonna use this as my blush. Oh, wow, it's beautiful. Wow, I've been missing out, you guys. Alright guys, so um, last but not least, I'm gonna do my highlight. So for highlight, I know I've been saying this <laughs> for like the whole entire video, but I can kid you guys not. This is the Smashbox Halo Highlighter. Halo Glow Highlighter Duo, and I'm gonna have to buy another one. Hopefully they still have some. I, the last time that I checked, they had like a sale going on, but I love this right here. It's so good. You guys probably think like, oh my god, isn't that gonna like ruin your powder? And that's why I love you guys, because this is literally the first cream to powder formula that does not do that to me like look at this it does not ruin my makeup and that's why i love it so much because it does not do that if anything it just makes it look so much better it's that good and you guys probably think i'm so extra but i take the shade golden bronze and i like to highlight with this shade i like to apply this everywhere actually cupid's all everywhere and then i take a golden pearl and apply this just so everything can look just all highlighted and well together so as you guys can see this looks just airbrushed this is what i want like with my base you know like airbrushed 100 percent just airbrushed so i do also like to highlight the bridge of my nose and right here this makes everything look so nicely and put together really really love that so good so i'm gonna come back i'm gonna do my brows and i'm going to do a little bit of eyeshadow like again i'm not gonna do so much on my eyes because i do want the whole main focus to be on my face so i'll be right back when i have my lashes and everything good to go all right guys so this is pretty much it for the look i'll have the eyeshadow to the eyelashes everything linked down below for you guys but of course, you cannot forget your setting spray. For setting spray, I'm going to be using the Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Setting Spray. And what I do is obviously like spray first, just because sometimes it does come out like kind of weird. But I shake it up and then I'm just going to spray. Even though I'm not going anywhere, I'm here to secure everything in place. The skin though, oh my god. It looks so airbrushed. So that is it, you guys. This is basically my everyday kind of flawless filter foundation, I guess you can say. I love, love this, you guys. Like, if you follow step by step this tutorial, you guys, guarantee your makeup will come out so flawless no matter what, you guys. And this is so perfect, especially for now. Like, the summertime, you obviously don't want to do, like, a full glam. Because, you know, around these times, your face can be a little, like, suffocating. And this face is going nowhere, you guys. Like, it is bulletproof. I guarantee you, mask proof too. What I do, I do recommend applying a little bit of a setting spray to your mask and then bam, you are good to go. But yeah, you guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thumbs up this video if you liked it. And also comment down below if you guys are going to try it or you guys have similar routine as me. Any questions you guys have, leave them down below. I will be sure to reply to you guys and see them. Also, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to press the bell notification button so you guys can get notified every time I upload a new videos and new content for you guys. So yeah, I'll talk to you guys in my next video. Bye, guys.